In this video, my day begins at Malpe Beach, Udipi. Check out the lovely beach facing room I have here. In the evening, it's time to step out and explore the beaches nearby. Check out the blue whale skull which I found on the way to the Matu Beach viewpoint. I had fun climbing over the rocky beach stabilizing structures which are called groins. And finally, the day ended with me watching a beautiful sunset at Bengri Beach. So let's go. Guys, good morning from Udipi Beach or rather I should say good morning from Malpe Beach. Today is day 6 for me and today is a rest day. I am not going to be doing anything in the form of heavy riding. I will just be exploring around uh, sometime in the evening. There is supposed to be a nice uh, road across lagoon I would say. Anyways, when I shoot it and I publish it you will see what I am talking about. So stay tuned. Today's breakfast a steaming hot cup of coffee and medu vada, tappa, chicken sausages, and other things. Looks yummy. I don't know what vada this is exactly, but it's rather good. I like it. So, this dosa is simply awesome. You know, it's made from perfectly fermented batter. Right? perfect blend of fluffiness and subtle hint of sweetness and sourness. I have to have one more. Hi guys, I was too tired when I checked in yesterday into my hotel room. So I didn't take this video yesterday. But now that the room has been cleaned, I will show you. So here's the entrance. There's a double bed. I think it's king size. There's a TV which I haven't used so far. In the bathroom you have a big mirror with a nice big basin and stuff to keep place to keep stuff. There's also a bathtub. And I think the best part open the window, you can see the ocean from the window itself. Hey guys, so today we will be heading to a place called as Two Beach Viewpoint. It's nearby within 20 minutes with 9 kilometers from the resort here. So let's go. staying at the Paradise Isle Beach Resort, one of the most exotic beach resorts located in the beautiful coastal village of Malpe in Karnataka. Malpe is an important port and a major fishing harbour on the Karnataka coast. The highlight of my stay at this resort was undoubtedly the beach. The beach was pristine with golden sand and clear blue waters and it is right opposite to the entrance of the resort. So it's an easy walk across to the beach. I had looked up a couple of interesting places nearby such as the Matu Beach viewpoint on one side and the Bengre Beach on the other side and I was keen to check them out. What I didn't know was that there was also a surprise in store for me, like a reward for my efforts for exploring the place. This is 
called the whale skull point that goes on and see you can already see a notice it says you don't touch it that's fine you won't be touching it anyway but we can take a look i've never seen a real whale skull have you there's a blue whale skull थिंकिंग कितना पीसफुल होगा यहाँ पे रहने वाले लोगों का जीवन ये लोग एक्चुअली यहाँ पे घर बताए हैं घर पे है सब जगह पे घर है एक भी रेस्टोरेंट या ऐसे कुछ कमर्शियल नहीं है इनका जो ऑक्यूपेशन रहेगा मोस्टली आई थिंक ये सब फिशिंग करते हो यहाँ पे मैंने ऑन द वे भी देखा काफ़ी सारे फिशिंग रिलेटेड एक्टिविटीज नेटिंग ठीक है चलते हैं आगे देखते हैं और क्या है इस पार्ट से मिलेगा दोनों तरफ का मस्त व्यू देखो इस तरफ है ओशन मैं सोचा ये गोपरों को ही लेके चलते हैं अभी अलग कैमरा में क्यों कैप्चर करना है टोपरों में चल के दिखाते हैं क्या है यहाँ पे कोई पूछेगा आगे तक जाना जरूरी है क्या तो है ना जरूरी भाई इतना दूर आके ये नहीं किया तो क्या किया पर वैसे भी मैं थोड़ा सा इजी रूट ढूंढ ढूंढ के आगे बढ़ते ही जा रहा हूँ तो 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 लॉन्ग एज आई डोंट फॉल यानी काफ़ी दूर है हाँ। पानी तक तो आ गया और कितना है जाना है ना और चलते हैं फिर भगवान का भरोसा रखेंगे तो भगवान रास्ता बता देता है बस थोड़ा सा भरोसा और थोड़ा सा पेशेंस इन दोनों चीज़ों की जरूरत है क्या बड़े बड़े पत्थर है वाह मन तो कर रहा था कि आप बस लेकिन 
आप व्यूअर्स भी तो देख रहे हैं कि मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ <laughs> तो मुझे आगे तक जाना ही पड़ेगा वी कैन नॉट गिव अप मिड वे मैं 2000 किलोमीटर चला के यहाँ तक आया हूँ मैं 200 सौ फीट तो जा ही सकता एंड आई हैव ऑफिशियली मेड इट एंड मैं भी करा भी सर सर After traveling for a little while longer, I decided it was time to turn back and head towards Bingri Beach, now approximately 20 kilometers away. I wanted to make it there before the sunset, but didn't want to rush. This road with the sea on one side and the coconut trees on the other is one of the most beautiful and peaceful roads I have ever traveled on and I was especially lucky to be doing so on my bike. I wanted to enjoy it to the fullest. back here at the beach to see another sunset but this is a very different beach let's go कैसे लगा आपको मेरा D6 का ये छोटा सा ब्लॉग लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट्स एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग